Okay, uh, today I'm going to talk about complex trigonometric functions. This is section 4.3 in the textbook, which is a first course in complex analysis by Zill and Shanahan. First I'm going to derive complex trigonometric functions, then I'm going to define the uh, trigonometric identities that go with these functions, and I'm going to solve an equation involving complex trigonometric functions. So first the definition from for definition 4.1.1 where we have the exponential function e to the i x is equal to cosine of x plus i sine of x. We also have e to the negative i x is equal to cosine of x minus i sine x. Now, by rearranging the terms with uh, algebra, we find that cosine of x is equal to e to the i x plus e to the negative i x over 2, and sine of x is equal to e to the i x minus e to the negative i x over 2i. Now, uh, we can take the real um, number x and replace it with a complex number z to get cosine of z is equal to e to the iz plus e to the negative iz over 2 and sine of z is equal to e to the iz minus e to the negative iz a positive iz over 2i. Now from these we define the other trigonometric functions uh, similar to the real functions as tangent of z is equal to sine of z over cosine of z. Cotangent z is equal to cosine z over sine z and secant z is equal to 1 over cosine z and cosecant z is equal to 1 over sine z. Now we have the uh, trigonometric identities. These are most the same as uh, the real trigonometric functions. First we have sine of negative z is equal to negative sine of z. Sine is still an odd function. And cosine of negative z is equal to cosine of z. Cosine is an even function. We have cosine squared z plus sine squared z is equal to 1, and sine of z1 plus or minus z2 is equal to sine of z1 cosine z2 plus or minus cosine z1 sine z2. And cosine of z1 plus or minus z2 is equal to cosine z1 cosine z2 minus plus sine z1 sine z2. And from 8 and 9, we can derive the double angle formulas. Sine 2z is equal to 2 sine z cosine z and cosine 2z is equal to cosine squared z minus sine squared z. Now, uh, I'm going to prove that 7 is true um, using 4 from above, which is the definition of trigonometric uh, complex functions, and theorem 4.1.3 from section 4.1. So, by 4, 
and theorem 4.1.3 we have cosine squared z is equal to e to the i z plus e to the negative i z over 2 squared which is equal to e to the 2 i z plus 2 plus e to the negative 2 i z over 2 or over 4 and we have sine squared z is equal to e to the i z minus e to the negative i z over 2i squared, which is equal to negative e to the 2iz minus 2 plus e to the negative 2iz over 4 again. So then we have, we add these together and we get cosine squared z plus sine squared z equals e to the 2iz plus 2 plus e to the negative 2iz minus e to the 2iz plus 2 minus e to the negative 2iz all over 4. So the exponentials cancel out and we are left with 2 plus 2 over 4, which is equal to 1. So therefore we've proven that cosine squared z plus sine squared z equals 1. Okay. Um, an important thing to remember though is that although most identities and properties of real trigonometric functions uh, do carry over into the complex functions, uh, some do not. For instance, um, the uh, range of the complex trigonometric functions is not the same as the real functions. In, for the real trigonometric functions, you have the uh, range of sine is always less than or equal to 1, and the range of cosine is also always less than or equal to 1. But this is not true for the imaginary functions. Sine of z can exceed 1, and cosine of z can exceed 1. Uh, now, um, to show uh, the periodicity of the trigonometric functions, uh, I'm going to plug in z plus 2 pi in place of z. So we take sine of z plus 2 pi equals e to the i z plus 2 pi minus e to the negative i z plus 2 pi over 2i. Now according to section 4.1 Um, we know that e to the um, i z plus 2 pi is simply equal to e to the i z. The exponential function is also periodic or, uh, by 2 pi. So using um, that point, we see that this is equal to e to the i z minus e to the negative i z over 2 i, which is just sine of z. I can also prove similarly that this is also true for cosine. Cosine of z plus 2 pi is equal to cosine of z. Now, uh, I'm going to go through an example of a uh, trigonometric equation and how to solve one for z. So we have 
example 2 uh, from section 4.3 and that is find all the solutions uh, to sine of z equals 5 Now, by definition, uh, we have e to the iz minus e to the negative iz over 2i equals 5. And then, well, we multiply both sides by e to the iz, and then put all the terms on one side. So we get e to the 2iz minus 10i e to the iz minus 1 equals 0. So then, um, using the quadratic formula, which is number 3 uh, from section 1.6, uh, we can find the value of z. because this is a quadratic equation in for e to the iz. We have e to the iz squared minus 10 i e to the iz minus 1 equals 0. So we have e to the iz is equal to 10 i plus negative 96 to the 1 half power all over 2, which simplifies to 5i plus or minus 2 times square root of 6i, which equals 5 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 6i. So now we need to solve for z. So we take the natural log of both sides. So we have natural log of e to the iz, which will become iz is equal to the natural log of 5 plus 2 times the square root of 6, 2 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 6i. So then this is equal to iz equals natural log of 5 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 6i. And remember, this is the complex log. So um, next, we want to split up it, split it up into the uh, real log and the argument of the complex log. Uh, because five plus two squared of six i is a purely imaginary number. So, therefore, the argument of that number is just 1 half pi plus 2 n pi. So, we have z is equal to negative i times the natural log of 5 plus 2 times square root of 6 i, which is equal to negative i times log, real log, base e of 5 plus 2 times square root of 6. Or these are all, I'm sorry, these are all plus or minus, because we have two roots for this or two solutions to this equation, plus i times pi over 2 plus 2 n pi for the argument. Finally, we have z is equal to 4 n plus 1 pi over 2 minus i log base e of 5 plus or minus 2 times square root of 6.